Adidas Drip 2 um, and honestly y'all this video is just going to be me standing Beyonce again because I am obsessed with this entire collection the colors the materials like the feel and the quality like the first drop like I was just mainly purchasing stuff because I was like it's Beyonce and anything Beyonce does I'm going to support but the second drop when they posted the pictures online I was like oh I don't care what I have to do I am going to get my hands on these pieces because the colors and everything were just so bomb. Um, so I don't want to talk too much uh, at the beginning of this video. I'm just going to jump right into my review. Um, and first things first, let's just start with the easiest part, what I'm wearing. So I was able to get my hands on the corset crop top and the um, mesh tights, the Ivy Park um, tights in the color Degrassi. Um, first of all, I just thought how they named all of the colors, um, all the collect the different color collections. It was so freaking cute. Um, I It was just really creative in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so when I saw the crop top and the mesh tights um, online, I knew that I wanted to pick them up. I did pick up tights from the first Ivy Park drop. If you guys watched that video, you saw that I have the burgundy tights and the orange tights or the burgundy tights with like the orange like three stripe detailing on the side and I literally wear those all the time I work out in them they're like the great um and I said even in that video like they were pretty great quality like I was shocked at how great of the quality it was I was not a fan of like I felt like the elastic around the waistband could be a little bit tighter and I'm not gonna say somebody from Ivy Park probably watched my video but they may have watched my video because that was addressed in this time around. So the elastic in these uh, tights is so tight. Like y'all hear that snapback? Like it's 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 intense. It's tight. It's there. You're not doing anything. Um, this they will stay up throughout all your workouts. So I'm really excited about the tights. Um, they're very smooth. They do have mesh detailing around the back. Um, you guys will see that in the clip that I post, but it's, I just really love these tights. Um, Ivy Park and Adidas, like when it comes to athletic wear, they really can do no wrong. And then, like I said, I did pick up the mesh, uh, crop top that has like the Ivy Park logo in the back and it's, it's like a corset style. Um, so I have the top in a size medium and I have the pants in a size large. Um, and if I do if I do have any of like the sizes wrong, I'll make sure I leave them in the description box so you guys know exactly what I got. Um, but yeah, the uh, the top I like it. It's a, I like the idea of it and I like the style of it. What I will say, um, it has like these inserted like it has a built-in bra, which I feel like makes my boobs look a little funny and a little weird. Um, but other than that, like, I think the shirt is really flattering. I think it's really cute. So, you know, I like it. Okay, so the next thing I have to show you guys are the three pieces that I was able to pick up from the, um, Mesa collection, the color combo from the line. Honestly, when these pictures dropped, when Beyonce dropped her pictures in this collection, I was like, Yo, if I don't buy nothing else, I have to buy these brown pieces. The color is just that bomb. It looks so rich. I was not able to like get my hands on all of the pieces that I wanted from the first drop, but I was like, I don't care what I have to do. I need to get these pieces. And by the grace of God, with a little bit of teamwork um, and a little bit of help from my friend Jessica, like I was able to get my hands on them. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is the cropped hoodie um the or the hooded shrug as it was listed on the website i don't i just i don't know what to say about this i am really falling in love with cropped hoodies um because i live in la and like yeah it's cold but it doesn't get super it's not super duper cold yet um so i can still get away with wearing a cropped hoodie and this like i said the color is the color does all the work for it um 
this collection like the material yes it's comfy it's soft and you know we are going into winter so having like athleisure and like comfortable loungewear is important but really i just mainly bought this for the color like i'm not even gonna lie so i have the hoodie in a size medium and i got it in a size medium because i was like well i don't want to get a two size uh, i don't want to get a size large i do like fluctuate between a medium and a large as far as my tops go but because i did want it to be cropped i felt like if i got a large it would probably come down too low over my torso um and it wouldn't really give that cropped effect so i got a medium and you'll see in the clips um it literally hits right under my boobs so like if i move my arms and stuff like that like you will be able to see my bra or a little uh sometimes but that's completely fine like i'm okay with that um if you're wearing a cropped hoodie like you should expect that you're gonna have some skin maybe some bra or bralette showing at some point um like i said it doesn't bother me but yeah i am so obsessed with this color um and i'm obsessed with the hoodie i just think it's so comfortable and i literally have been wearing this like around the house like almost every single day um like it's just that comfortable and i'm obsessed with it i'm the kind of person like if i buy something and i love it i'm gonna just keep wearing it over and over and over and over again until i get tired of it um and this collection is no different i also got the long form um long sleeve version of the hoodie and so this i actually have in a size large um and i got a size large because i wanted this to be this i did want to be oversized um because i was like well i wear wear it as a regular hoodie and stuff too but i could also like style this as a dress um with like some knee-high boots or something or maybe like some sneakers um so it's i just wanted to have options like i'm not gonna wear be able to wear like a cropped hoodie every single where i go um so i picked up the long form version of this i am really really obsessed with this hoodie as well also because one it's super comfortable the material is like really sturdy like it's nothing is gonna happen to this like i will have this for a very long time before it gets like any rips or anything like that but i also really like it because the hood is oversized so like you can bring it all the way over your face it literally covers like up to my nose so it's like kind of give you that like moody brooding vibe um like you walking down the street in the rain like in a music video like that's what this gives me this that's the feels that this sweater gives me um but yeah like i said in the detailing is typical of ivy park i was happy that there's uh they did think about us and like the actual function of the sweater so this particular sweater doesn't have like pockets on the side of it but they did go ahead and sneak in a pocket right here in the front on the boob area so yeah um again this is just another sweater uh i don't really know what to say like other than the fact that it's comfortable and it's great and I'm just honestly, I'm just honestly still so happy and shocked that I was able to get my hands on all of the pieces in this collection in this color that I wanted. Um, so last but not least, the last thing I got uh, were the joggers. Now, if you are a returning subscriber and you watched my first video, you know how uh, my first Ivy Park job, you know how upset I was that I was not able to get my hands on the joggers from the first collection. And honestly, I am now happy that I did it because these joggers I would wear so much more than the joggers from the first drop just because the colors from the first drop were like so bold it's like burgundy and orange and all that and I'm like you you can wear those to a lot of places like don't get me wrong but I personally have more of a like muted neutral color tone or color palette when it comes to my outfits and stuff like that I don't really do a whole bunch of bright colors um so the orange and the burgundy is like i really wanted those joggers but these joggers right here these i'm actually going to get a lot of wear out of a lot of use out of them again i have also been wearing these around the house a lot um i've been wearing them with the crop hoodie you know and it's like a whole fit i think this is going to i'm going to be traveling soon so i think the crop hoodie and the joggers that i have will probably be my airport outfit because they're just that chill and like laid back and like you look put together but like not like you're trying too hard you know but it's also a flex too because it's like ivy park because not everybody was able to get their hands on the ivy park so yeah it's like a subtle flex just 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 a subtle flex you know to talk about the jogger specifically these are like so utilitarian like super functional they have a these are legit cargo pockets they have pockets everywhere even hidden pockets that i'm like was like oh i didn't even realize that was a pocket they have these pockets 
Um, I have these joggers in a size large as well. Now I will say the joggers and the oversized hoodie or the regular hoodie um, were, the sizing was a little weird because this came specifically from the gender neutral part of the line. So the joggers and that hoodie are a little bit um, of a larger fit because they were meant to be gender neutral so it's a fit men and women so they fit me perfectly but they're not as snug of a large as if it was just like a strictly female large um if that i hope that makes sense but yeah they're a little big on me and it's just a little bit baggy but i i'm totally okay with that because i feel like that just goes with the fit like that just goes with the style um so yeah but uh the thing i love about these joggers is they are super duper sturdy so again, like the material is great. Um, I will have these for a very long time. Uh, the only way I could see me getting rid of these early is if I like stain them. And even if I did stain them, I would probably just wear them around the house, like to do laundry or like just chill, you know, like on Saturday morning, have you a bowl of cereal, watch some cartoons and just, you know, vibe out. So yeah, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, not too long of a video today. I just really wanted to come on and talk to y'all because I was so excited to get my hands on the new Abbey Park. Um, if you haven't checked out my first video, then I will leave the description to my first Abbey Park haul in the description box. And if you have any additional questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section. I do try to respond to all you guys' comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, 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 oh,